Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you some speculations. I know it has been some time, but we're going to go back to MTG Finance because it is my goal to be the biggest MTG Finance channel and try to do the best as I can for the individual speculator. And that's a lot different from someone who has $10,000, $100,000. These are things you can buy and pick from your store today. Miraz is a huge, huge opportunity. Uh, it's a big opportunity mainly because of the symbol. The symbol is black, even if it's rare. There's no difference between uncommons, commons, and rares. And there's no mythics back then. So when you have a card like Energy Bolt, you might be like, how much could Energy Bolt possibly be? Well, it's about five bucks right now. It is on the reserve list. So Miraz is the combination of exactly what you want in, let's see, a bulk set. You want something that is difficult to determine the rarity, and you want something that is on the reserve list, or many cards in that set are on the reserve list. Uh, this guy's pretty interesting. He has an interesting ability. I don't think he's worth that much, but I'm pretty sure he's on the reserve list as well. Uh, Circle of Despair is six to seven dollars right now, and you can find a million of them. One million Circle of Despairs because it's the perfect storm. You have a set that's old enough. You have a set that's not super old. Therefore, many stores will have this. You have a obscures symbol where you have to check up what's a rare what's not like an energy boat today we would look at that as an uncommon circle of despair today we might look at that as an uncommon of some type but back then they were rares you have the reserve list and most importantly the set size so a lot of morales are printed we're not talking about alpha beta which everyone knows arabian nights legends everyone knows all that already it's pretty obvious that those sets are very uh, not much of that is out there. And if you can get a hold of it, by all means, go for it, buy it, buy, 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 buy it. But I don't see any of these collections coming to market soon. Um, these really old collections, uh, they just don't, they get gobbled up so fast. But Miraz, it'll stick around. Uh, Energy Vortex, terrible card, not worth some money. Carry on, worth some money. Uh, even this preferred selection is worth <laughs> some money now. I'm pretty sure it has to be on the reserve list for a card like this to really spike up in price. So Miraz is good. Visions. Miraz is the key because I looked at the other sets and there's no set like Miraz where you just have five cent cards spike overnight all the time. Visions is good. Stronghold is interesting. I think Miraz is a perfect combination of everything. Everything a speculator would ever want is in this set. Even uh, Spectral Guardian. This card, I mean... Oh, the other component which makes this quite interesting and uh, it's probably a very big factor. The other component is no one knows. These cards have been pennies for years. Therefore, they've just been accumulating and no one's been able to sell them. Like people have not been able to sell these cards for a decade, for a decade plus, because they were never considered a good until just now. Because of that dichotomy of knowledge, you have the potential to really make bank. If you find a correct Miraz collection, you will have you will see you will have at least this much, if not 10 times this much, because stores would open Miraz, they would sell the popular cards, and then they would keep cards like this, which are now more expensive than those popular cards. Even uh, No Chamber, which is not EDH's, I mean, you, you look at the card and it's, you know, I mean, it's an interesting card, but who would, who would like imagine this card is worth any money today? It is worth money. That's worth a few dollars. Miraz is absolutely the set that you want to buy right now. And you want to buy in collections. 
Ideally, you would buy in collections, but if not, there's still some really cheap reserve list cards in the set that's are 5, 15, 25 cents. And they're not going to last for very much longer because there's not many of them left. I mean, it's like a list. One by one, these cards are being bought out. And from collector's purpose, so let's not talk about the money that we're going to make because that's all like a fallacy. But from a collector's purpose, none of these will be printed again. They won't. And no matter how bad they seem to you, they're not going to be reprinted. So I would much rather have a bad card than a moderate card. And the bad card in the right circumstance could be valuable in the future than the moderate card, which will just be reprinted into oblivion because it is new. Anyway, um, that is my best advice for you right now is Mirage and Visions. Those two are killing it right now. Uh, they're doing such a good job of really the supplies out there. You just can't be lazy. You gotta go out there and look. They're in flea markets. They're in uh, old local game stores. I went to one the other day uh, and unfortunately they didn't have any of this stuff but they were telling me someone bought all their bulk, which is fascinating, but also kind of out there, right? Anyway, that is it. Bye guys.